She will reach the scatter shot on the left, and then he's wall breaking again to get into the scatter shot on the right. Queen dies through the ability. No! But here we go, guys. MNG Esports versus Bad Zinger in match number one of the quarterfinals of CWO Esports playoffs with five thousand dollars on the line one of these teams is going to get knocked out and one of them is going to be moving on to the semifinals and be one of the last four teams still in the tournament let's see what bad zinger can do here with their first attack here in match number one they're coming in with a queen charge hybrid to start us off little wall breaking action from the five o'clock angle he's using the king early to go into the scattershot compartment Interesting choice here. Queen goes up for the multi. She's going to fight the Royal Champion here in a second. She will reach the scatter shot on the left. And then he's wall breaking again to get into the scatter shot on the right. Queen dies through the ability. No! Rip the late ability. Queen dies right through the ability and doesn't even get it off. That's unfortunate. That charge would have been amazing too. Look at all the value he could have gotten in that core. Oh man. Big rip. He's just going to try to recover here by sending the hybrid straight into the town hall. Siege barracks on the outside. Going to be able to pop the warden ability early here as we activate the town hall. And we do. CC troops are just now about to come out. Hound and two headhunters. He misses the headhunters. Is that going to come back to bite him in the butt? No, not really. Oh, the road champion did take a lot of damage from those headhunters, actually. And then she gets targeted by the eagle. We are going to get the two star. No problem at all. But can he get decent percent? Tesla farm over at 1030. The hound stalls up the royal champion. All the miners got absolutely annihilated there by the eagle artillery. They just got wrecked. Hogs from the siege barracks. He freezes, but it's too late. Royal champion goes down to lava pups. And we're looking at like a 65% attack. 66. 66 percent attack to start off the war for bad zinger not ideal so unfortunate with the queen dying through her ability like that mng esports in with their first attack of the war with a queen charge hybrid of their own let's see what they can do here yeti and barbarian to funnel this lower side queen right at nine o'clock looks like we're trying to get her into this town hall chamber there goes the wall breaker is successful gets right in there a couple of archers come out of the clan castle some headhunters as well they're gonna go straight for the queen probably doesn't have to poison Ooh, he freezes i don't know if he needed it oh, yeah he may he may have needed it probably a good call to just to be safe there rage the queen through this town hall and through the enemy lava hound oh she switches targets when the town hall's on one hp that's unfortunate but eventually she'll get through these pups then she'll get the town hall. And then she'll continue moving up. Here we go. Which way is she going to go? Actually, she's going to stay down. He's going to wall break again. Okay, okay. To give Queen access to that single target Inferno. But was it too late? Does she go outside? No, she's going to go inside. We're going to hybrid into the eagle. Okay. Headhunter to help King kill the enemy King, which is nice. Going to have to freeze again to keep this Queen alive or just pop the ability. We're just going to pop the ability. We don't have any more freezes, actually. Hybrid moving into the core of the base here. Queen's going to be able to get that expo. There goes the Warden ability to keep all these troops topped off full on HP as they move into the center of the base. Queen's going to be able to get some of these storages down. We pop another Skelly Trap there, thanks to the Headhunter. Rage the Hybrid into the core, because we don't really need that last Rage for the Queen. We get a Wall Breaker to go all the way to the core for the Queen. That's OP. Queen has access to everything now. We need to drop that last heal. Oh, the scatter shot. The heal was late. What are we doing here? The heal was one second too late. The scatter shot just absolutely dominates all those troops. And is it going to fall short because of that? Queen dies to the back end scatter. And all the hybrid troops are gone. Poof. They just got roasted. And it's not going to be the triple that MNG needed to take the lead in this war. They are going to be up on percent. But we're going to be tied on stars 2-2 two to two after the first round of attacks here that Siege Barracks P.E.K.K.A. 
doing his best to just absolutely slap the crap out of that RC, and down she goes. And then he gets in range of the scatter shot, takes that out too, and then it's going to fall, and we're going to end here at 81% for MNG Esports. And let's check out, what was Bad Zinger's percent again? 66. So an 81 compared to a 66 after the first round of attacks. And they are in Wasted Potential is his name. Let's see if it is indeed Wasted Potential or not. He's coming in with Queen Charge Dragons with seven loons and a hound? What in tarnation? Quake spell? RC trick for two Inferno Towers? This homie just RC tricked two Infernos. Wow. Start the Queen Charge at 2 o'clock. Headhunter in as well. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Let's see what he can do here. Queen's going to deal with that enemy King. Funnel at 3 o'clock with a Wizard. Another Headhunter to help her get through the King here. Down goes the enemy King. Queen still hasn't had to use any Rages. We got three Rages and three Freezes and a Poison to use on the rest of the attack here. Already down to 2 minutes and 12 seconds left on the clock, so this is taking quite a while. And Queen takes a weird pathing. I don't think this is the pathing he expected. He wanted Queen to stay on the outside and probably go for the Eagle. Does she go back around? What? Alright, Bad Zinger's Queens are just on a whole nother level. There goes the wall break to give Queen access to the Eagle. King to funnel the outside. We lose one healer to a Seeking Air Mine right here. Queen's going to go into the Eagle Artillery. We do have one more Wall Breaker to give her, get her into the core. And give her access to at least one Scatter Shot. If he uses the Wall Breaker in the perfect spot, he could give her access to two Scatter Shots. Which would just be OP. He needs to send the Wall Breaker from like 5 o'clock. And target the bottom side of that Dark Drill. He's already coming in with the Dragons and a Hound on the top side of the base. I'm really waiting to see where he uses the Wall Breaker. Dang it, not where I wanted him to. It's not going to target the junction, so Queen will only be able to reach one scatter shot unless she beats through a wall, but that's okay. We're going to freeze up, rage the dragons as well, stone slammer from the top side. Queen's dealing with a headhunter. We're going to have to pop her ability here so she can get into that scatter shot. Uh, there was another headhunter, but I think the dragons killed it. The hound gets pulled out of the CC. Queen's going to get stuck on that, but luckily there's no point defenses on her, so she will be able to stay alive here. And the dragons are pathing through the rest of the base. 50 seconds on the clock. We still got two more freezes and a rage. There goes the first freeze. Poison to help with the pups. The dragon pathing's being a little wonky here. The air defense doesn't go down. And he's going to start losing dragons because of that. But he rages the dragons on the right side through the scatter shot. And Queen can clear the rest of the base. As long as he has time, it should be a triple. And I don't know if he does have time. 24 seconds on the clock. The dragons will take out the air defense and clear out a couple of buildings over there on the top side. He does have it. Oh my gosh. What a godly attack here from wasted potential. Oh, he's just barely going to get this. 97%. The skelly trap to distract. Queen deals with the skellies. Dragons on the gold storage. Four, three, two. He got it. Two seconds to spare. And that was a nice attack from Bad Zinger. Beautiful plan. The RC trick with two zaps and a quake. And he got two Inferno Towers with the RC trick. And then Queen Charge Dragons. Wow, that was a fun one to watch right there from Bad Zinger. And just like that, they take the lead over MNG Esports. One triple to none. And MNG Esports in with their second attack of the war. And they're bringing a Queen Charge Lalo with one Zap and one Earthquake. So we're going to see another RC trick here somewhere. Looks like over here on the bottom left side of the base. Here goes the RC. Got to wait for her to clear that Mortar probably. Pop the ability. Boom. Zap right there. Down goes the Mortar. She can even grab another Cannon. Just for some extra value there. Nicely done with the RC. Queen's going to walk from 7 o'clock to the left and toward that town hall. He's being very patient with the healer drop. King to funnel the outside here so Queen can go directly in for the town hall. And he does have two wall breakers. He can wall break over here to the core to give Queen access to everything in the core. Oh my goodness, that's going to be a ton of value for this Queen charge if he can keep her alive. King goes in for the archer tower and then he's going to bounce back out. Perfect path thing here. 
queen. Gonna have to fight. Ooh. On the stuff. Needs to send in a headhunter. Needs to send in a headhunter. Oh! Pops the ability. Good call there. Otherwise, I think she would have died through the ability. I'm not sure why he didn't use a headhunter on the king. Probably could have saved the ability if he did that. But anyway, here comes the next rage. There goes the wall breaker. Perfect placement with the wall breaker. Give queen access to all this stuff in the core. I guess he's trying to save the headhunter for the law low for the enemy royal champion. That's why. But probably would have been worth it to bring another headhunter to use on the king there. But oh well. Queen's going to go into the core. She's distracting the eagle's first round of shots here. Scatter shot switches targets to the hound, which is nice. Dragon in the CC. Not going to do a whole lot just yet. Uh, we don't have any more rages for the queen, but we're going to be hasting this Lalo through the top side. Pop the warden ability. Send in the headhunter as well. Down goes the royal champion. We get to the first scatter. We freeze the back end scatter and the eagle to keep the queen alive, and she gets the scatter down. She's going to die now, it looks like, but that's okay. I think she got all the value we needed. And can we keep these loons alive going into the back end multi? Ooh, queen stays alive and gets the multi, maybe? If queen gets the multi, we're looking good, except all the loons just died. Where did all his loons go? There's only one loon left. Now we need the queen to stay alive. Or I guess the warden and the minions could finish off the base. 44 seconds left on the clock. Warden, one balloon, and like 97 and a half minions trying to stay alive through this base. We got a headhunter charge as well. Look at that headhunter go with four healers. Oh my goodness, he's not going to die, is he? That's OP. Look at that headhunter. Yes, it's a headhunter charge. And that's going to be a triple for MNG Esports. And just like that, they're going to tie it up. We're back to a tied war here. After the second round of attacks, plenty of time on the clock. Beautiful Queen Charge Lalo plan right there from MNG. And it's going to be five stars to five here moving into the next round. Here we are. Bad Zinger in with their next attack of match number one here. Coming in with a zap Lalo before the update drops. Oh, but he's not even going for the Clan Castle. He's going for the Eagle. Okay, here we go. He's going to zap the eagle. He doesn't have a poison to deal with these CC troops. Oh, it's not a zap, Lalo. What am I saying? He's got a hound, but no loons. Ten dragons on this attack. Daps the eagle right away. Blimp on the top side of the base with an E-dragon to get the scatter shot down just for pathing, I guess. Okay. Let's see this. Minion on the top right side. E-dragon makes the funnel. Nicely done there. Where are we going to send the dragons? Looks like he's going to make a funnel on the top side, send all the dragons from the 10 to 11 o'clock angle, and probably walk his heroes from 9 to 6. Not sure what his plan with the RC is. Maybe just save her for the back end of the base, potentially. There goes one dragon on the outside to make a bit of a funnel. The rest of the dragons coming in on the top, just like I thought. He's already wasted a lot of time, to be honest. Only a minute and 50 seconds left, but dragons can be pretty fast. And here we go. Dragons on the top side. King and queen to walk from 9 to 6, just like I predicted. And there's a lot of stuff they can grab with all that open space. Hound out in front of the dragons, and we still have the RC for the back end. Super minions and headhunters coming out of the clan castle. Queen should be able to kill all of them while they're locked onto the king. Actually, she gets hit by two of them. Ooh, that queen took a lot of damage. Wow. Pops a warden ability over the town hall as dragons move into the core of the base here. They're splitting off in a couple different directions. We're going to pop that king ability so he can continue tanking for the queen, but I don't think he will. Queen's going to go down. We're going to have to rage these dragons up again through the enemy queen, hopefully. He sends an ice golem to the top side. Probably needs to use the road champ with that. Yep, road champion over there. On the top side, if dragons get through the single, this should be GG. And they will with the help of that free spell. This is looking pretty decent. As long as RC can stay alive. Oh, actually, I don't know. Tesla pops over on the right side of the base. RC's taking a lot of damage. Did I jinx it? Oh my gosh, I did. He's going to pop that RC ability. I don't know if that scatter shot's going to drop. RC ability's not even going to grab the air defense, and the RC is going to go down to the scatter shot. It's going to be a fail. Watch, I don't think the air defense is going to go down, is it? Scatter shot and air defense are going to stay up. Oh man, Bad Zinger not going to be able to get it done here. Would it have been better if he used his RC on the bottom side? I feel like the answer is yes. 
feel like it would have been better if he used his RC on the south side in combination with the dragons, because her ability would have chained the air defense, and it would have pushed these dragons into the scatter shot. But nonetheless, nice try to bad Zinger here. They're not going to be able to get it done. It's 92% and MNG Esports have another chance to really take the lead here with their next attack. JD in with the next attack for MNG. Coming in with a clean charge hog hit here. Not a hybrid. He's only got one minor for cleanup or something. We're coming in with an early Yeti at 11 o'clock to make a little bit of a funnel. Queen starting at 1030. One Coco Loon pulls... The air targeting troops out of the CC. Headhunters right there. Gonna freeze and save the poison for the lava pups. It's probably a lava hound in that CC. Gonna rage and drop a blimp for the town hall. Nice and early. Okay. It is hopefully gonna get the town hall down. Also gonna pull the lava hound out of the clan castle. Down goes the town hall. Once the yetis are dead, the lava hound will switch over to the queen. Another yeti at 9 o'clock to funnel the queen in at 10. We find the Tesla farm super early here. Queen's going to get stuck on that hound now. Ooh, that funnel's not really made. I don't know if Queen's going to go in. Does she? Does Queen go in? I'm not sure if she does. He's going to drop another wizard to try and get that lab, but it, we're not going to get the barracks, and that's the building I'm worried about. He's going to use the king just to make sure that funnel's made. Might have to pop the king ability. Oh! The king was late! Queen goes around. If he drops the king one second earlier or pops the ability early, queen would have gone in. He's going to try to recover here by dropping the wall breaker to the archer queen platform. Rage up that queen again. That's already his last rage spell. Healers are still on the queen, but she's going to have to pop the ability. Oof. We start the hogs from the top side of the base. Early heal. Roa champion and warden in with them. Queen's going to get through that multi, but I don't know if she's going to get through the scatter. She's taking so much damage. She's going to go down. And because of the angle we dropped the hogs in, we're not even going to be able to get a healer swap. The scatter shot's probably going to kill all these healers. And they're not going to be able to get any value on the hogs, which is super unfortunate. We heal the right side of hogs. Healers hit a tornado trap. They're going to go down to the scatter. Royal Champ's taking a beating from that eagle artillery. Going to have to pop her ability, and I think we're going to fall short here. RC can get the scatter. We freeze right there. Oh, this is still going to get close. RC gets through the bomb tower. Oh, man. Hogs on the right side. I don't think they're going to last much longer. Only two hogs left. RC dies to a giant bomb. And it's up to the warden. He is going to get the cannon. And probably could get the eagle. That's so close. If he dropped that king earlier, I don't know why he was so late with that king. It's not like he needed the king to funnel the hogs. It's not a hybrid attack, but... Maybe if he drops that king earlier, this would have been a triple. Tough to say for sure, but we're going to finish at about 80% here on this attack. No, yeah. There goes 78, 79, and 80 right there. Can the warden even get one more building? I think he can. <clears throat> Just in time, 81% we finish at. And we're still going to be tied on stars. 7 to 7, and percentage in favor of MNG Esports, 52.4 to 51.6. Avatar coming in with a Queen Charge Lalo. Again, two zaps and one earthquake. What are they going to do with this? We've been seeing a lot of creative RC tricks with Bad Zinger today. Let's see if they can do something cool again here. <clears throat> oh no, he's just going for a scatter shot on this one. Two zaps and a quake. Gonna be able to RC trick the scatter. Minion in behind to do a little bit of funneling. Queen starting right at 12 o'clock. There goes the RC ability. We even grab the expo that was behind the scatter shot. So some really nice value from the RC. She also finds a ground skelly trap. Gonna wall break the queen in at 10:30. Gonna wall break again, probably to the core there. She's gonna have a lot of room to go in and get a bunch of value as long as we keep her alive. Healers on the queen. And how are we going to funnel her? I guess just drop the king soon. Archer at 9 o'clock. Going to have to rage and wall break again. There goes the wall breaker. Here comes a rage. There goes the king. There goes the rage. Was it too late? No, we should be okay. Queen gets back up to full health. Might have to freeze or something to get through this queen. Nope. He's being risky there. Queen stays okay, though. 
Gonna have to pop that King ability, drop a free spell. King can take out the single. That's actually OP with the help of that free spell. And now look at Queen. Look at all this value she can get in the core. Oh my gosh, she's gonna gut the entire base. And I hope he starts the Lalo into the single target Inferno to keep the Queen alive forever. This is gonna be beautiful. Queen finally pulling the CC troops out. Can poison right there nice and early. Headhunters and a Lava Hound. And look at that. It's timed so perfectly right when she gets rid of the scatter shot. Now there's no point defenses on her while she gets rid of that CC. And he's free to just start the Lalo whenever he wants. Minute and 25 left on the clock. He can start that Lalo straight into the single target Inferno to keep the Queen alive. And she'll even get that back end um, Air Sweeper. And here we go with the Lalo. He still has a Stone Slammer as well. Finds a Tesla farm over here on the bottom side of the base. Town Hall is already activated. Queen's going to be able to pick up that back end sweeper and even the Royal Champion. This Queen charge is insane from Badzinger. Here comes a Stone Slammer to cut off the funnel and make sure all the loons are going to go straight into that Town Hall. We freeze up the Town Hall in the single. Queen takes care of the enemy Royal Champion. Going to pop her ability. She'll get rid of the King as well, which I have said before. King is the number one air defense in the game, so nice to get him out of the way. And guys, this is crushed. This is absolutely wrecked. He could swag a Rage and a Freeze if he wants to. Oh my gosh. Bad Zinger with the beautiful Queen Charge Lalo, and they're going to take the lead yet again. Wow. Two Lightning Spells and an Earthquake with the RC ability nice and early, and he still is able to swag a Rage and a Freeze on that attack. Beautiful, beautiful Queen Charge Lalo right there from Avatar. Very well executed, and we'll see how MNG can respond with their next next attack and see if they can stay in this. Hawk is in for MNG Esports. Let's see if they can catch back up to Badzinger. They're going to need a triple to do so, and they're coming in with a Queen Charge Hybrid right here. Yeti over at 7.30. Queen starting at 8 o'clock. Going to try to get her into this multi-target Inferno Tower compartment, it looks like. Queen's going to step up for the Wizard Tower Cannon. We're going to funnel on the top side with a Sneaky Goblin. Very nicely done right there. Thanks to this opening in the wall, Queen should be able to go straight in. We're going to send an Ice Golem as well to hopefully get some freeze value for the Clan Castle troops as they come out. We're not getting a healer swap, so very well calculated here from MNG. Poison for the Headhunters. Queen can shoot them. Ice Golem freeze is just beautiful. It means we don't have to use a free spell of our own. <clears throat> Queen can then step up, deal with these super minions. No issues whatsoever. And we don't have any wall breakers whatsoever for this Queen, so I don't know what his plan is for the single target Inferno Tower. Queen is going to get in range of that pretty soon. Maybe just pop her ability through the wall and hope she goes for that. And then hybrid the Town Hall, because he's already starting the King and Siege Barracks at 12 o'clock. He's going to rage the Queen, probably going to freeze the single and just hope she beats through the wall. That would be my guess. And she will. Oh my gosh. Perfect prediction here from Hawk. It's almost like he knows how the Queen's going to path. Amazing stuff here. Queen does get through that single hybrid. He pops the Warden ability to keep them alive as they move into the core of the base here. Town Hall's already down. We send in a sneaky little headhunter to go deal with the enemy Queen, but they get zero value, unfortunately. Rage up the Queen again as she gets through the enemy Royal Champion, and she just barely stays alive. We're going to heal that hybrid in the core. We got one more heal and a freeze here to get through the back end of the base. There goes the heal for the hybrid. RC is getting hit hard by that Eagle Artillery. Hogs get stalled up a little bit by that Tornado Trap, but eventually they're going to make their way through to the backside where the scatter shot is. We're going to freeze that scatter and try and keep these troops alive. It's crushed. It's crushed. He still has the Queen ability. RC gets through the scatter. Even if the Miners and Hogs die right here, Queen could finish off the rest of the base. That's a triple for MNG Esports, and they are not only still in this war, but they catch back up on stars and have the lead on percent by, again, I think just four buildings in total. We'll check the stats here in just a second. But a beautiful Queen Charge hybrid there from Hawk. There goes the three stars on the board, and now we're tied 10 to 10 after the fourth round of attacks and 72.4 to 71.6, which is indeed just four buildings that make the difference. Last attack of the war for Bad Zinger. Coming in with a, ye a Zap Yeti Smash. Okay. First Yeti Smash we've seen of the day. Let's see what Leon 
from Badzinger can do with it. Starting the Warden right here at 2 o'clock. Are we going to zap the Scatter Shot? We are indeed going to zap the Scatter, the Elixir Collector, and the Air Defense. Quake in as well. Two more zaps. There we go. Warden Walk is going to be able to make a nice little funnel here and then probably just send the Yeti straight into the Town Hall. Let's see if it's going to work out well for Leon. Wizard to funnel at 12 o'clock. Warden grabs the gold storage and we should be good to go. <clears throat> Looks like there's not any Teslas at 12 o'clock to mess up this path thing, which is nice. There goes an Ice Golem and the Yeti's coming in. There's one Tesla up at 12 o'clock right after I say that. He does not have any wall breakers, so he just wants all the Yetis and everybody to just naturally work their way in toward this town hall, and he's going to be able to jump to the core. Out come the clan castle troops. Looks like we've got a ton of goblins, headhunters, and super minions. King to funnel the outside. There are some more Teslas up there. Tornado trap on the town hall. We're going to be able to pop this warden ability. Jump to the core. There was a jump spell perfectly placed. One Yeti goes back up for the Teslas at 12. We still have a siege barracks and a royal champion to use here. Healers switch over to the Yetis, which is OP as we move into the core of the base. One more Rage Spell there for the Yetis and the Healers as they move down south. All the bullets just got wrecked as they got out in front of the Yetis. How are we going to pass to that scatter shot? He decides to use the Siege Barracks back at 3 o'clock. I'm probably going to send in the Royal Champion to assist the Hogs that come out of it here in a little bit. Siege Barracks just about to pop. And he's holding on to that Royal Champion. We got one more free spell. Queen, gonna have to pop her ability in the middle of the base over there. We do have healers on her. She's gonna get the scatter, that's OP. We send in the Royal Champion to go toward the Eagle Artillery. We do have a freeze and we're probably gonna have to use it when we fight the enemy Queen. Ooh, he froze early. Sends in the Headhunters, they might have been too early. The Headhunters were early and now his Royal Champion is not gonna get through the enemy Queen. And it's gonna be a defense. It's gonna be a defense for M and G and now M and G can win this war with a triple. In fact, they don't even need a triple. They were already up by four buildings. So it depends on how much percent this attack gets, but they're only gonna need 3% less than this one to win the war, if that makes sense. He's got two more balloons and two wizards to use. 30 seconds on the clock. Yeti walk on the outside of the base here. Gonna be able to grab a few more buildings, actually. Maybe not, as they get stalled up on that DE storage. Gonna go for the cannon here with the loons. I don't think that was the right call, or is it? They get the gold mine, but that's it. <clears throat> then he can grab the army camp and maybe another gold mine. He decides to go for the archer tower. While the healers can keep the wizard alive. Okay, maybe that was a good call. He's gonna finish here at 81%, which means MNG Esports need 78 to win the war. 77% on the last attack would end up in a perfect tie. 78% or better wins the war for MNG Esports. MNG Esports with their last attack. Coming in with a Zap Lalo here. He currently has a Wall Wrecker activated. See if he actually uses that. We do have two poisons. So he's not going to be zapping that clan castle. Instead he zaps the scatter shot over here on the left side of the base. Picks up two other trash buildings as well. Was he trying to kill the Archer Queen with those zaps? I feel like he was. He didn't bring a Quake. He just used seven zaps. He definitely was trying to hit that Archer Queen, but missed her. Otherwise, he could have just used five zaps and a Quake for the Scatter. So that's unfortunate. He already missed the Archer Queen. Let's see if he can recover. Wall Wrecker in for the Town Hall. King's walking down from 8 o'clock to catch up or to meet up with this Wall Wrecker Sui. We poison the Headhunters in the Clan Castle right there. King beats through a wall. Wall Wrecker pops early. Did he pop it by accident? The wall still gets broken open. He brought a Wall Breaker of his own as well, just in case. Does Queen go for this Town Hall? Oh no. The Town Hall got activated by a Barbarian or something. We're gonna have to freeze right there. Can Queen get the Town Hall? He already sent the Royal Champion on the left side for the Inferno Tower and she didn't get it. This Sui is not going to plan for MNG. He's going to freeze again. Can Queen get through the Town Hall? She can't. Oh no. Town Hall still up. Rip. What is he going to do here to recover? Has to start the Lalo into the Town Hall. There's no other option. Send the Warden as well. Going to have to pop the Warden ability. He doesn't even have any more free spells. Just going to have to haste and pop this Warden ability. There goes the Warden ability. Warden's actually going to snipe the Town Hall there. And he still needs 78%. Can they get it? 
It's gonna be close now. He only has two haste, and that's it for the Lalo. Has two headhunters for the Royal Champion, but he's being very patient with them. Needs to use the spell earlier rather than later. Down goes the Royal Champion to the headhunters. 54% in climbing. Can he get the 78? Archer Queen is just gonna pop these balloons one after another. Now she's gonna pop the Warden. He goes down. Balloons are dropping to the multi. 63%. Oh my gosh, the Sui did not go to plan. Can he get 78? I don't know. It's going to be so close. He's got an archer on the top side. 45 seconds on the clock. Eagle's down. 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. He's not going to get it. It's going to be a victory for Badzinger here in match number one of this best of two we'll have to double check with the percent after this attacks over archer gets the building at 12 and that's gonna be it 75 when they needed a 78 oh my gosh here we go and the percentage it's 12 to 12 bad zinger do indeed take match number one by two buildings 87.4 to 87.8 eight wow ggs to bad zinger but now remember this is a best of two matchup so we're gonna see match number two coming in right after this and it's basically tied going into match number two